Today, we are discussing everything to do with job interviews. I am going to share with you how you can prepare yourself for an interview, how to answer questions in an interview. And since this is a live Q&A session, I'll be waiting to see your questions in the chat and I will be able to answer all the questions that you have about interviews. And today I want to share with you the three P's when it comes to interviews. How do you prepare for an interview? How do you set yourself for success when you are going for a job interview? And the first P is about preparation. You really need to prepare when you're going for an interview. And there are several sections that you need to prepare when going for an interview. The first part is to do your own research. As you prepare, do your own research about the company that have invited you for the interview. What do they do? What are the products and services? What are their vision? What is their vision? Their vision? And get to have an understanding of what is it that they do. The second thing that you need to do while preparing is to actually go back and look at the job, the job that they had advertised. What is it about that job? Uh, what kind of person were they looking at, uh, for? What are the roles for this person? And what are what is supposed to be done once you get that job? So just trying to have an idea of who they are looking out for. Then take time to look at the application that you sent in, your CV and your cover letter. What is it that you sent that they saw you fit this criteria? So try to get your frame of mind, the right way to understand what they were looking for and what they saw in your application. Now, I know you might have done so many applications, you keep on changing, editing uh, to fit the position. And this one, you need now to have it on top of your head. This is what they saw. And the third thing when it comes to preparation is thinking about the kind of questions you expect to be asked in an interview and start thinking of how do you answer them? And I know most of you will have questions in terms of how do I answer this question? How do I answer this question? I am looking forward to see those questions uh, coming in. So that is the first P I have covered about being prepared. I have two more P's, practice and uh, presentation, which we will get there. But let me pause here just to welcome everybody who has uh, come in. I can see most people say, yes, they are ready. Michelle, welcome. Brian is ready. Uh, Karibu Sanab, there's uh, someone else here, uh, Said is ready, Gladys is ready. So I want to know what questions do you have when it comes to job interviews? Drop them in the chat. Welcome all, this is uh, Zubair. Welcome, there's Fira, there's uh, Daniel, say yes, they're ready. James, together, yeah, you're ready. Any questions you might have when it comes to job interviews, feel free to drop them in the chat and I'll be able to respond to them, purity. Karibu Sana. So we have just covered the first bit of being prepared. That is the first big thing through about the organization. What do they do, their products and services? Think about the questions that you're going to be asked in an interview. And I know most of them are going to come here. And uh, we have also talked about looking at your job description, uh, the job description, the job they posted, the application you sent, what is it that they saw that you fit that. Now, the second bit of the preparation of P, the second P, is about being uh, doing practice. You need to practice. Now, I'll tell you this. You have a question, uh, there are certain questions that you expect to be asked in an interview any day. Like 99.99% of the interviews you go, the first question will be, tell us about yourself. Now, you need to think through how do I answer that question? Tell us about yourself. Then practice it. If you can find a confidant that you can be able to share with them, tell them, tell me, how do I sound when I am answering this question. If you can look into the mirror and try to practice that out, that is a game changer. Now, I'll tell you this. The answer during the interview will not come exactly as you had planned for during your practice, but it will come way better than if you did not practice that you just had your answer in your head. It is said in an interview, what you thought you know becomes what you don't know very quickly in that job interview scenario. How many of you can actually relate with that statement? You had planned to say A, B, C, D, but when you got in there, you just said X, Y, Z, and things got tangled up. Do you have the same experience? If so, let me know in the chat. I am looking to see the questions. People are coming in. Yes, I can see purity sake. They're ready. We have Kenneth. We have Timothy. Thank you very much for joining us. Money. There is uh, Shedrach. Uh, 
utajibu aje interview most utapata kama mse asha promise okay um i understand that kind of attitude uh when you feel like you are going for an interview just to waste time by the way you're not wasting time don't feel that and if that is the attitude you have from the word go you have already failed the interview go to the interview knowing that you already passed the first uh shortlisting you know, that means they saw something that is potential to mean that you can actually take up the job and when you go to the interview you either do or undo that but when you have an attitude that you feel like oh already they have already selected someone they have promised someone then there's no need for you to go for that interview you're wasting your time i like there's a saying personal sake i say i play to win and if i can't win i don't play so if you're going for an interview and you know you can't win then why play play to win and if you can't win don't play is that okay shadra hopefully you got the message Franco is ready. By the way, I'm waiting to see your questions in the chat because that is the best way I can pull them up and answer any question you have in regards to job interviews. I can see who else. Valme is ready. Katri that Otieno is ready. Okay, I'm trying to get all this. Hillary Karibu Sanam, someone on you uh, LinkedIn user saying, tell us about yourself. Okay, this 99.99%, I say this is the one question you will be asked. Tell us about yourself. And I will give you a four-step framework, yeah? Four-step framework. Uh, allow me to note it down. Tell us about yourself. I'll come back to that. And if any one of you struggles with that question, let me know in the chat. I'll be able to answer that. Kibet is ready. Um, well, ask, what is your weakness? Okay, I'll come to this question of weakness. Okay, I think I should just take them up as they come, yeah? I have seen another one here, Helen, uh, why should we hire you? What is your salary expectation? That's a good one. Another one about salary expectation. Are you supposed to give a range or what do you do? Okay, Margaret, I'm coming to that question. Uh, this is interesting. I can see someone from Zambia, Astrida, here from Zambia. Welcome very much. I really appreciate you joining us. Julia said it's ready. There's a question about strength and weakness. Be uh, busy. we are going to answer that. Who else? Ian is ready. Strength and weakness. I think that was a question. Uh, ready, Julius. Okay, let me get. Let me get to the questions right away. Question number one. Tell us about yourself. Um, I will mainly refer you to this resource. This is my YouTube channel. And if you just go to my YouTube channel, just search Daniel Mutuku, you go. There's a section here about interview questions. I have done a video, this one here, tell us about yourself, and another, this is an older version, but this one is an updated version. You can still take a look at it, but for now, let me do the honors and just answer it straight away. There are four steps on how you can answer, to answer, uh, to answer the question. The first thing, you introduce yourself. If you got an opportunity to say who you are, or they already know you by name, they invited you, hello, uh, Mark, come in, you're welcome. Uh, you don't need to introduce yourself. The second thing then you need to think about is talk about your qualifications. Now, when you're talking about your qualifications, keep it brief and only talk about relevant qualifications to the position that you are interviewing for. You shouldn't start from where you went to nursery, where you went to primary, high school, all that is not valuable if you're uh, doing an interview for a business management position and you did a business uh, diploma or certificate or degree talk about that yeah after that you talk about your experience in that field yeah so it will be my name is daniel i am a qualified uh, business manager having done business administration from this and this university then i go to my experience i have over two three five ten years of experience having worked with company abcd i was their business um uh, development officer i was here i did this I did this so far that is where most people stop yeah talking about their qualification and their that and their experience now the fourth step this is what makes the difference this is what makes someone really pop out is when you now try and connect your experience your qualification to that position how how has your experience how has your qualification really prepared you 
and set your patch to be qualified for that specific position yeah so it will be something like i believe i'm the best candidate for this position since you are looking for someone who will come in and do a b c d i have done that in my previous ex uh, employment or in my previous job and are the best candidate so something of that sort so you are able to connect your strengths uh you're able to connect your qualifications your experience to this position now some guidelines when it comes to what you're not expected to say now it is not a question that they really want to know about you and your personal life and your family so avoid talking about your family i'm the firstborn i'm the second born i am a single mother i am uh, from a single fam uh, mother family i am from all those are personal information about you they don't that is not what they are looking out for don't talk much about your religion and politics those are two things which are very tricky yeah don't mention about them unless it is a christian organization and you're a christian so you can talk about your christianity unless it is um islam position you're an islam and you want to connect to show them that you understand but if it is more of a secular position where religion has nothing to do with it for example if you're a customer care person it doesn't matter unless it is a christian farm or a muslim or a hindu farm or something of that sort don't go that route don't mention about those uh, two things um the other thing i'll also mention is really uh, politics very tricky don't go up there and try to stay as professional actually when they ask you tell us about yourself they want to know how are you coming in to fit into this position yeah so get more examples um go to this uh my youtube channel there we go look at these two um videos here the best answer tell us about yourself at this one and actually they have real examples that have read out and you can easily craft them to fit your situation are you getting value if you're getting value say yes 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 i'm getting value just drop that in the chat and say yes you are glad that you came here and your questions will be answered i can see this cabra all the way in nigeria karibu sana i can see who else here um, Strength and weakness, salary expectation. I am going to answer that question. I think so many people have asked that. I can see if you are asked, tell us about yourself. How do you answer Titus? Hopefully you have gotten the answer. Uh, okay, this one is very interesting. Describe yourself in three words. I'll get there, but why, why, why? How would you describe yourself in three words? I think it is up to you to think which words do I use that best fit this position. But we can describe that. So if you're having, getting value, I can see Bibizo uh, saying, yes, you're glad uh, I did it. I can see someone else, Diana, saying, Wairimo, I needed this Karibu Sanam. Okay, let me go back to the questions and see where we had stopped. Okay. Hmm, 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 hmm. But don't worry, keep on putting in your questions here yeah, in the chat. I will get to them. I'll get to them. So, Gladys, Gladys asked, tell us uh, what's your weakness, yeah? How how do you answer this question about, tell us about your weakness? And I'll go hand in hand with the question of um, strength. What are your strengths? What are your weaknesses? And how you can be able to answer uh, that. I will say this, when it comes to, okay, just a minute, I need to mute yeah okay good when it comes to weaknesses they there are two guidelines number one do not say you don't have any weakness because that is a lie we are all human beings we have weaknesses be good number two do not say a weakness that directly affects how you perform your job what do i mean if you are a customer care person you are a receptionist you are someone who will be dealing with the people and your weakness is that you really get angry very quickly you are short tempered then that is a weakness that is going to directly affect your line of work yeah and thirdly do not say a weakness i've seen people uh, advise others that you should give a weakness that is kind of a strength what do i mean uh, what's your weakness? I really work hard. So in other words, the message that you're sending is that if you give me this job, I really work hard. I will put in the time and effort so you'll get the most out of it. They will see through that. Yeah. So don't try to be tricky and give a weakness that that is a strength that, but looks like a weakness. Yeah. And uh, uh, when you say a weakness, 
This is the third guideline. And I'll give you an example of how you say a weakness. Is don't just say the weakness and leave it there. You should show them that you have a plan to work on that weakness. So here's a good example. I really, you say, um, one of my weakness is that I get, really get angry very quickly. I'm kind of short-tempered. And assuming that that is not going to affect your line of work. Or you can say something like, I'm really afraid uh, of public speaking. Uh, when I get to talk in front of people, I really freak out. So that is the weakness. So what are you doing about it? Um, however, I've learned that public speaking is going to be a very core strength I need to work on or a skill. So I've enrolled for public speaking class, or I'm reading this book about public speaking, or I'm doing something. You are doing something about it. Yeah. And don't just have a weakness like, yeah, this is my weakness. Deal with it. I um, you can't, of course, you can't say again, I do, uh, your weakness is that you don't keep time. You are lazy or you sleep a lot. That would not be a good weakness. Hopefully you got some value out of it. Yeah, I'll talk about strengths in a short while, but I can see another question here. Why should we hire you? Uh, what is your salary expectation? Now, one of the key resources I will tell you is my YouTube channel, yeah? Uh, I will still answer the question, no problem about it. I want you to go just to YouTube. If you're on a computer, open another tab, just search Daniel Mutuku. Come to this channel. Of course, I would want you to subscribe to my channel over 62,000 subscribers have gotten value from this uh, uh, channel. You should also do that. So if you're not on YouTube, if you're on YouTube, because I know there are some people who are following us on YouTube, go there. If you are not, maybe on LinkedIn or Facebook, just open another tab or after this session, go there. There is this, uh, where is it? Why should we hire you? I've already done a video talking about that. Why should we hire you? And that does not mean I will not answer it. Here, I'll still answer it. This is a great opportunity for you to market yourself. This is for you to connect the dots for them so that they can understand what your value is and what you're really bringing on board. So it should be directed or it should be um, led by the job description. If you're here as we began this session, I said one of the key things that you need to do is to do your research and as you prepare for go to go to this interview, go back and see what is the job description, the job that they had posted, what are the responsibilities of this person. And if, for example, um, I'll pick a random one. I don't know if I can be able to, let me do this. Yeah, I've never done this. So give me a job position randomly. Yeah, in the comments, yeah. Give me a job. Is it accountant? What what kind of job are you looking out for? I will pick one and then I will search and then I will give you a live like presentation right now. So let me wait in the chat. I can see Pamela saying yes, she's getting value out of this. Uh, Gl uh, Gladys, you're saying yes, you're getting value out of this. Diana, indeed. So I'm waiting just to see in the chat. Drop any job description, any job position. I can see there's a question from Edward. How do you deal with the interviewers who disagree with your answer to your uh, the question you've asked? Okay, uh, I'll come to that. Uh, there's a LinkedIn user who says customer service specialist. So I will use customer service specialist, uh, procurement officer. I can see accountant. Okay, let's go with co customer service uh, specialist. So I will come here and say customer service jobs. I'll pick a random customer service job. Uh, all this. Mm -hmm. Let me just pick on LinkedIn here. And let me get this a call center, airport service duty, customer service at Old Mutual. I view this job. So this is part of the research bit where I'll just want to see this job description, assuming that I am qualified for this. Let me see what they have. Here. Okay, good. So these are temporary employee rest, blah, 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 the skills. Okay, the position is closed. So I can't see much of the information. Let me look for another one. Oh, it was here. Uh, not really. Customer service. Let me see on the side. So this is just live. I'm trying to uh, do this off the cuff and just show you how you can get value out of it. Okay, good. So here they have described 
what are the key areas communication management in the day-to-day -day queries as a hybrid team you are required to manage customer interaction through emails calls at the same time so why should we hire you you should hire me because i am a very great communicator i am able to manage communication on a day-to-day -day basis from our clients on all the different channels may it be email phone letters and chat I have done that before in my previous uh, employment and I can be able to do it for you. Uh, I understand also this role is looking for someone who is able to interact through the different uh, channels and that is one of my strengths. And another thing, I think you should be able to uh, hire me because I'm able to coordinate and ensure that I follow up clients and contract every time. I have a uh, follow up uh, schedule or system or process that i follow that ensures that i don't miss any client follow-up and i'm able to close as many customers and uh, clients as possible did you see how that works did you see how that works so i looked at the job description i understand what they are looking for and when they ask me why should i hire you i go straight ahead and just tell them what they want to hear they are looking for someone who can do communication management in different channels. I can be able to do that and go about it. Have you found value in that? Can you see how it works? It's just like magic. Okay, I can see there was someone who said procurement. I have seen several procurement. Um, let's look for a procurement officer uh, position and do the same thing. Yeah. So I come here. I say procurement jobs. Okay. Procurement jobs. Um, I look at this one has been advertised here. All I need to do is just read through the job description. If I was to get, okay, dispatching. So key requirement, manage daily schedule of drivers and ensure delivery of targets are met. Communicate with the drivers and uh, customer throughout the delivery. Ensure compliance with all safety regulations. So if that is a job description, and actually you can be able to do that, then your answer should be, why should we hire you? You should hire me because I'm very good when it comes to managing daily schedules of drivers and I'm able to communicate with them throughout the delivery process and we are able to meet our targets. I'm also very keen when it comes to um, safety regulations. I am very compliant and I make sure that all our drivers and our people in our team are able to follow through and are compliant with the safety regulations. Did you see how that works? First, understand what they are looking for. Then you go ahead and tell them that you can be able to do that. So it's an opportunity for you to do what? To market yourself. Get a bit more uh, more details. I will ask you to this YouTube channel. There's this uh, part here, this how to answer the question, why should we hire you? Get more examples. You can always replay as many times as possible. Are we together? But if you're getting value, give me some thumbs up, like, share with your friends. And the key thing I want you is to subscribe to my YouTube channel. That is where you will get the most value. Yeah. Uh, okay. What is the question? Salary expectation. What is the range supposed? To okay. I will answer this question together with this one. Oh yeah, because we were here at Helen. What is the salary expectation? And same question here when it comes to Margaret. Now, uh, just a minute. You see this video here? What is your salary expectation? It still answers that question. But it does not mean I won't answer it here live with you. Several guidelines. You need to know the figure that you want to be paid before you get into that interview room. So if it is 100,000, have that figure in your head. If it is 150, if it is 50,000, it doesn't matter. Now, that figure should be a figure that you're sure if they agree to it, it will sort, of course, it will uh, take care of you. You will be able to pay your expenses. It's probably a um, much better uh, figure that you're getting from your previous employment or your current employment because you're looking for a greener pastures. And it is a figure that you can still be able to negotiate. Now, previously, I used to advise people when I didn't know better that you should give a range because somebody asked, uh, I can see the question already is here. Should I give a range? I would really say, no, don't give a range. Why? Because when you give a range, this is what happens. You say, I'll be comfortable if I'm paid between 50,000 and 80,000. 
you in your head the only thing you remember saying you said eighty thousand, and the uh, the other person on the other side they had the lower figure which is fifty thousand. so when you start to negotiate they are negotiating from 50 you you are negotiating from 80. you see where it becomes tricky i would say talk about on average i'll be happy if i'm paid seventy five thousand. so you're talking about on average yeah it's kind of a range i'm happy if i'm paid two hundred thousand. that should be the first step have that figure in your head and say it outright based on your research you know about the position you know about the company you are not asking too much you know that that is something that they are capable of paying again don't go off the uh, board and uh, set a very unrealistic figure number two when you state your figure in the interview don't just stop there justify that figure why are you asking for a hundred thousand this is based on my experience this is based on my qualification and ABCD, yeah? How you're coming in to fit in the criteria and help them solve their problems. Now, most people do that the other way around. You start justifying, you ask, how much should we pay you? Ah, you know, I've gone to school, I've done this course, I have this experience. We're already justifying even before setting the figure. State the figure, be very confident, justify it. And the last bit where, again, not many people are able to do this. Pause. Uh, Put it back to them to show that you are willing to negotiate. Let them see that you are willing to uh, discuss the figure. So it would be something like, I'm happy if I'm paid on average this amount. This is based on A, B, C, D. You justify it. And then you say, and I would also want to know from your end, like what was the budget for this position or how much do you pay for this position? Because I am also willing to hear from your side and I'm willing to uh, for us to be able to negotiate. So you have thrown the ball back to them. You actually want to know even from them, you want to negotiate. You're not saying whatever I've said. It is a figure that is uh, written on stone. It can't change. Are we together? Are you finding value out of it? So watch that video, practice what I've said. Also something else I also want to mention when it comes to salary. This is the number one question that most people think about when they are going for an interview. And the moment they get into the interview and they ask that question, they get confused and things start going uh, haywire, yeah? So what I would advise, don't be the one to initiate the question about salary. Is that okay? Always wait for that question to come in from the other end. And it should always come in at a point where they are almost confirming that you're the right candidate. Based on the organization and the recruitment process, you shouldn't start discussing the salary way early in the process like they have not even confirmed your best candidate or they have not picked you maybe but if it is later on they have now uh, shortlisted the candidates they want to see who to pick who not and maybe salary will be one of the things then you can be able to discuss that are you getting value are you getting to understand these things if so give me a thumbs up give me something oh thank you um Bibizo, you've been very active i really uh, like that thank you thank you thank you uh someone saying I can't hear you clearly. Your voice is cracking. Is that so? Uh, if that is so, let me know. Uh, the, the rest of us, can you give me some feedback? Can you hear me? Good. Pascal is saying good afternoon. Let me check my microphone. I think my microphone is okay. Or are we good? Maybe it's me just thinking me okay. If you can hear me, let me know. I can see. Thanks. Uh, that is Naomi Kamau, your fighting value. I can see trash. Is that to see? I, you can hear me. Okay, someone saying, yeah. Okay, Babizo, you're saying loud and clear. Okay, thank you. Somebody else says, uh, Patricia saying it's clear. Okay, thank you. I appreciate that. It's always good. Yes, you are audible, Diana. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. I think we're having uh, fun. So let me go back and try and get some of the questions again that had been posted earlier. Um, I want to ensure by five we are through. By the way, we have done our uh, survey and most people found it uh, useful for us to have this session uh, as from 4.15. So please mark your calendars. Tuesdays, 4.15, we will be live on YouTube, LinkedIn, and Facebook. But the best place is YouTube. Because once you go to YouTube, you will see the live uh, session. You can be able to set a reminder so that it can remind you the next time we are live uh, so youtube is one of the best places also subscribe to the channel i really appreciate that yeah 
Okay, let's go back there. Someone from Zambia, yes. Uh, somebody said they were ready. But with those strength and weakness, I think I've answered that. Ian Mambo, what is your salary expectation? I think I've already answered that. Hey, I'm ex uh, NYS graduate, have no degree or diploma, only NYS certificate. Can I get a presentable CV? Yes, you can get a presentable CV. Uh, it's all about the value that you give. So let me do this. I want you to go to this section here, careerpoint.co.ke forward slash CV review. Here you'll get an opportunity to submit your CV for a free review. We will show you how you can be able to write it in a professional way. So just go to careerpoint.co.ke forward slash CV review, or just go to our website and say uh, CV review. Let me copy that link. I want to post it in the chat. And then I'll, uh, you can be able to submit. Okay, you are joining us on YouTube. Yeah, you will see the uh, the link. I'll put it on the uh, on the chat, yeah? Just go careerpoint.co.ke forward slash CV review or that link as it is. I know it's longer there, but go there, follow us or uh, submit your CV. Hey, there are so many questions that came in. Hopefully I'll be able to finish them as we proceed. Keep it. Tell us, uh, where do you see yourself in five years from now? Ah, good question. I like this question because it it, it, it wants people to know what, what are your goals? What are your career goals? What I would say, number one, say you would see yourself still working with them, probably at a much um, bigger position or a bigger role that you are getting in. Do not talk much about you leaving or being somewhere else. They want to see, is this someone that will come in, join us and stick with us? I had a friend of mine who went for an interview and uh, he was asked, uh, for example, it's a job that have different offices. So there's this office here in uh, Nairobi and then there's another office maybe in Akuru. And they are asked if a certain position opens in the same, same organization in Akuru, maybe higher in the next one or two weeks, would you apply? The guy said yes and that is how he lost his job because it shows that he is not loyal he will he just want to look for other opportunities so if you can show that you will be with them and you will uh, be still learning or have a much bigger role or bring more value the happier they will be kibet are we good i can see another strength weakness Pawina, i think i've already answered that question if you haven't gotten the answer just do a replay this will uh, live on our youtube channel that's a good thing <coughs> excuse me in case of a uh, live interview and one interviewers forms a negative opinion and ask you a question unrelated to the job how do you cope with that without losing your call okay probably that is the role yeah that probably would be the role of that person asking the question they want to throw you off your game and see how you will you will behave will you um act professionally or you will you better because there are certain line of work that are very stressful and so you should try as much as possible to remain calm and answer the question okay i appreciate uh your question i you might say something like i don't see how that is related to uh the job i am not comfortable answering that politely and professionally and with a lot of respect you can say that or you can still go ahead and answer and say okay i don't know how that is related but i can still provide you the answer that says this 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 become be professional don't let them throw you off your game is that okay now i'll be answering this okay i can see yes someone say yes oh i saw someone getting value yes i'm ready oh there's uh, oh you're from india oh i'm happy to see that we are going wide far and wide yeah thank you uh, why did you leave or why do you want to leave your current job felix good question again here you need to be very cautious number one if you have already left your job or you are the one to leave do not bad mouth your current employer or your previous employer don't be negative don't talk anything bad focus on the reason why, why? probably is because you are looking for new challenges you want to grow in your career you are looking for greener pastures you are looking for other opportunities you think you um uh, you can be able to utilize your uh potential much in a different environment or something of that sort don't talk about all oh, my previous boss is so bad they do this the blah 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 avoid that yeah 
I think that is a quick version. I am planning to do a video on that. Why are you leaving your, I don't know if I have already done that video. Let me check here. As I told you, my YouTube channel is one of the biggest resource. And if you are not there, it's either out. Oh, okay. I, I don't, okay. There's a question that you are, how to answer your weakness, how, uh, why you get your salary raise. Okay. I think, I don't think I've done that one. Oh, it's yours. It's not yet, yet published. Yeah. But I will work with that. What about online etiquette interview? Number one. Uh, there are so many things you did, but technically, there's, make sure you have the video working, the audio is working, you are in a quiet place and a plain background. Mine is here, I can see there's a blue and some cream. This will still work. Avoid a very busy background, so many things happening or so many colors, it might be distracting. Look for a place which is very quiet and dress up as if you are going for a real interview. There's a way you will present yourself, there's a way you feel um when you already dress up unlike we have seen during the uh, COVID period people wearing half coats or half suits i can see a tie or when someone stands they have their pajamas their boxes that also gives you an idea of you know, that feeling that it's not something serious yeah but apart from that make sure it looks as you just prepare as if you're going for any other interview a physical one then the additional stuff is just the technical thing clear audio, try your technology early, quiet place, cool, quiet, uh, not so busy background. Tell us about yourself, what is the right response? I think I've already tackled that. Okay, guys, please don't post any more questions. I can see time is really moving. I just want to answer any that you have. If I don't answer yours, show up early next week on Tuesday. Next Tuesday for that, or if you have an Next Tuesday, I think that is when we'll have the next uh, live version. If you are asked, tell us about yourself. What do you answer? Titus from Kenya. I think I've already done that. Or check my YouTube weakness, strength, salary, expectation, ETC. I think I've already uh, answered that. Kindly give me through, is it? Kindly guide me through. It's not interview related question. I have done master's education, sociology daily. I need a guide on areas of job seeking. Drop me an email. Uh, if you drop me an email, uh, send me your CV, I can see how best to uh, assist you. So my email is daniel at careerpoint.co.ke. I can be able to guide you. Uh, I will pull it shortly. I can see someone from, okay, these ones have already. Describe yourself. Describe yourself in three words. Okay, I've seen this earlier. The point here is you need to be able to, in a nutshell, who would you want them to know you? What are the attributes that really talk about you? Is it is it a position that wants to see someone about integrity? Is it about hard work? Is it about being skillful in a certain area? It is up to you to decide what really describes me. Like, for example, I know me as a coach here at Career Point. If you ask me to describe myself in three words, I'll look at words like, um, I'm a good communicator. I communicate clearly. So communicator, I can talk about um, influence and persuasion. Yeah, I think those three. Influence, I am able to influence people. I'm able to persuade people to take maybe a certain step of action. So those would be for me. But in your case, in your line of work, what best works for you? So that one, my email is there, daniel at careerpoint.co.ke. Where were we at? I'm trying as much as possible to answer all your questions. Yes, I did it this. Okay, I think we had gone there. Diana, which pronoun should I use? Is it I or we when answering interview questions? Talk about I. Talk about yourself. We, who, who is we? Um, I also <laughs> had somebody went through an interview. Then they were asked, tell us about yourself. Then they talked about something like, um, Daniel Mutuku is a hardworking, Daniel Mutuku does this and this, he has done this and this, and then he was asked, why are you referring to yourself as a third party? And he didn't understand what that meant. So always talk about yourself. Probably we have been brought in a society where we don't really take time to blow our own horns, we are told don't do that. But at some point you need to know how to talk about yourself and be proud of yourself and don't feel shy or weird about it. I will say, I'm good at what I do, I'm a good communicator, I'm a good coach, I help people. That is what I do. And you can easily see what I'm doing here. 
We deal with an interview who disagrees with your answer to the question of us. Okay. I someone disagrees. Was it a fact kind of question when they is asked, is uh, is this what is the color of the sky? You say green and say no, it's blue. Was it about a fact that they were looking out for? Because when you ask, tell us about yourself, tell us about your weakness, why should we hire you? All these are based on your own experience. So there's no right or wrong answer. But again, whichever the question it is, when they disagree with you, do not go out of shape. Just respectfully tell them, okay, I understand we have a disagreement or we don't seem to be agreeing on this one specific thing, which is still okay. And we can still move on. Yeah. Don't lose uh, shape. Don't become so get off the cuff. Yeah. Okay, but I say yes, yes, getting value. Oh, I think this is when I asked for the questions. Thank you, uh, Brian. I think I did for a procurement officer, geologist. I can't be able to do all of them. I can see engineering. Irene, thank you for joining us. Take example of a geologist. If I have time, I will do that. Yeah, we have five more minutes. Let me see if there's any other question here. How do to answer in the area of m and &E? what specifically what the question specifically i think that is quite broad i think uh, almost all the questions my question honor to be this session i trust you can uh, you will let's uh, be to be sales or business development exactly position okay what's the question or was it uh, why should we hire you that uh, you look for a job description and uh, look at that what about if you ask what about your salary i think i've tackled that okay even someone fala was saying loud and clear from sierra leone okay i think i've done all the questions unless there's a if there's a question i haven't answered and i've skipped it just drop it now two questions then i will do geology as an example why should we hire you well, what other question do you ask in an interview oh this is a good one what questions do you ask in an interview? Because it gets to a point where you're told, do you have any questions for us? Do you say no? Do you say yes? Now, key number one, always say yes. Never lack a question to ask in an interview. So what do you do? There is this video here. That is why I told you uh, YouTube is one of my biggest resources. You see, where is it? Yeah, here it is. I have 10 smart questions you can ask in an interview. I might not go through all the 10, questions it's only nine minutes and it can save you a ton but the key things or some guidelines on how you answer um, uh, this question or ask question don't ask questions that are focused on you and show maybe how selfish you are you're only thinking about yourself don't ask questions to do when uh, how much will i be paid when can i start um what are the benefits for this position what it's not about you 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 always ask about them. ask about them a question something like uh, uh, if, uh, this role what seem to be of the key challenges in this position what do you see as the key challenge that I will get if I get this position um, what do you uh, questions to regard to that firm maybe you did your research and you saw they are starting a new product or a new how are you planning to get into the job market or get a market share for this product or something of that sort it should be a question always referring to them not you is that okay, Bezo? Watch that video. And by the way, I would really appreciate if all of you can go to my YouTube channel, just search Daniel Motuku, subscribe to that. Uh, weakness. Okay, I talked about weakness, not strength. Now, strength is not very hard because you know your strength. Just be sure you are very precise about your strength and how that strength works to make you a better employee for that position. I'm very good in communication. I can be able to sell very well. I am. I do connect with people very um, in a nice way. Something that will help you. Um, like the example we talked about, uh, was it logistic officer? And one of the things is someone who is able to follow up and make sure that they're able to meet targets and all that. One of the key strengths would be I am I'm a very uh, task-oriented person. I am able to follow through a process until it is over. Yeah, that can be a strength. Is, uh, when we talk, looked at customer care, it's, it's about communication. It's about you being able to multitask through all these apps and still be able to get things done. So that, think about a strength, a real strength that you have and really makes you good at your job. Is that okay? 
Ah, uh, here's another one. I I got a call from a company where I had randomly shared my CV. They asked me for salary expectation. I gave them the figure. They said they will call back with an interview details once they discuss. Okay, that's a good one. Um, but let me say this. Don't feel as if the figure you gave is the reason why they didn't give you the job. Yeah. The reason why I say that is to give you that benefit of doubt that you sometimes know your worth. And if the reason why they did not give you that job was because of that figure, then it's not worth you being there. So never really feel like, oh, should I have you? Should I have said this? Know your worth, stick to it. If they discuss and they feel you're worth that and you will bring the same amount of value, they will get in touch with you. Is that Naomi? Uh, okay, Naomi, don't feel bad about that. Uh, Anastasia saying, this is awesome. I'm happy to have you. Uh, there's Wellington saying loud and clear. Okay. How long should I wait for their response? Uh, I don't know if I've done that video. Should you really follow up? When you do an interview, they say they'll get in touch with you and they never get in touch with you. I say, yes, do follow up. After two weeks, try to get in touch with them. If they had called you, call them back. If they had written an email, send an email after two weeks and say, yeah, I'd come for this interview. I just wanted to know what is the outcome, what was your decision, so that I can plan and know how we can, I can go ahead. Um, if not, drop them an uh, uh, email or text. After two weeks again, if they don't respond, you can follow up. Two follow-up without any response, just move on. That is a month or so, yeah? After two weeks, ask. After another two weeks, follow up. If not, move on. And do not always be, do not do one application and wait and think that that is the one application that will really, really change your life, yeah? Always send out. It's a numbers game. How much impact do you have with the kind of applications you send out? Okay, I think that's just, um, there's a question here. What if you are not sure about uh, the answer of the question they have asked? Okay, good. If you're not so sure, again, be very honest. Say, I'm not very sure the answer to that. If it's about a, a fact, tell us who is the vice president of Uganda. Even me, I don't know. I would say, okay, I don't know about that, but I can research and get back to you. I Sometimes there are some interviews, they will ask you questions straight to know if you are honest they know you don't know the answer to that or it's just a very random question yeah be honest say you don't know but always tell them you can research and get it back to them if it is something they have asked and you're not clear about say okay sorry i didn't get that clearly did you mean this or maybe you can repeat and i need to get it clearly okay how can you communicate effectively with your team um we have different communication ways and communication is not just a matter of talking or writing it's also a matter of getting feedback so what system have you put in place to ensure whatever you communicate they have actually understood and they give you the feedback yeah so there are different ways maybe um this is more of a communication class actually there's an online course we have about business communication um but yeah that is more of a tactical but giving examples of a scenario where you actually were able to communicate to a team and they were able to effectively implement what you wanted them. But it's all about, not about just talking, not about writing, but also getting feedback from them. Is that okay? Uh, Mark, hope I did that. I think that is it. Uh, what is the advice salary expectation? I've already done that. Um, how to answer, how can you work under pressure? Okay, it's five for three. Can we keep moving? If you want us to keep moving, maybe five more minutes or 10 more minutes. You know, I try to keep them short so that if someone is coming to do a replay, they don't feel like, oh, I need to watch for a whole one hour. But if we keep it short, but I'm not really focused about people who are watching the replay. Can I focus on you who are here, right? So if you want us to keep like 10 more minutes, give me um, some thumbs up, yeah? Look for some emoji, give me some thumbs up or some fire emojis or some something exploding. Because I'm seeing all these questions are very important and I really need to take time to give you the value because you have sacrificed your time and effort to join me here. Give me some fire emojis. Let's look at um, where was I? Oh, how can you work under pressure? Yes, I can work under pressure, but it should be I don't know how to put it. It should be defined pressure, yeah? Because in this day and age, your mental health 
is more important than sometimes this job. Let me pause here and say, there's nothing that is worth your health. Nothing that is, even if they're paying you how much, if you end up with all that money and you lose it all because of your physical health, you got uh, start getting issues with your physical, uh, physical health and your mental well-being. It's not worth it. You better suffer looking for a job, finding ways to pay bills than having your mental health messed up. But there are, of course, some jobs that have their own pressures and you need to be very deliberate on how you uh, is it depressurize yourself. Personally, I'll tell you, I do. I have, my work is quite stressful. I sometimes deal with so many types of people, plans, a lot of deadlines, a lot of reports. I have to do all this, do coaching, and it can be a lot of pressure. I have created a system that I deliberately go out there and release my steam. I do ride motor, uh, a motorbike, so I do have a group where we go for uh, motorbike rides, just a weekend out and all that. I do carve out time for my family because I know that is one of the ways that I'm able to rejuvenate where I don't think about work. I play with my children. You might think I'm one of them. Yeah, one is eight, the other one is uh, four, turning five this year. And I uh, just got my last born three months. And yeah, I take time to spend time with them because it's a way of releasing that pressure. So I also, um, how about uh, guys where well, I, I like going hiking and all these things. These are things that take me off my work thing. Yeah? So understand you can get pressure at work, but don't let it get to you. And don't deliberately get into a work environment that is so stressful and a lot of pressure that you lose who you are. Hope that makes sense. I am going, um, there's a day we had um, this career jumpstart challenge. I brought one of my friends, a wellness coach. I am planning to invite him. On Fridays, we will we'll be having these interviews uh, where I'll be bringing my friends and my fellow coach. And he talks about wellness. And that, I think, is a key thing. We will need to discuss that. Watching all the way from Zambia, that is David. Uh, I can see the, the thumbs ups were coming. Yeah, the thumbs up, the fire emojis. You want us to proceed. Yeah, this is good. This is good. I like this. Yes, yes. So five more minutes, or let me say 10. Uh, where was that question? The last question I looked at. Mm, okay, what's it? Okay, there was this one. Kindly advice. What is the salary? Expert? I think I've already done that. You can watch the replay. What are some of the good questions to ask? In every okay, I think I've already done that. Uh, at a point, you throw the ball in your hands and ask, what question do you have for us? Okay, I think I've already uh, answered. I've told you that there's a video. You can go check out the type of uh, questions you can have. I think that is it. I really appreciate. Um, let me do the one for geology. Kindly share your email address. Okay. There we go. That's my email address. Daniel at careerpoint.co.ke. So let me go here and look for a geology job. Uh, I think it's a unique kind of job. So I'll come here and say geology job or jobs. Or it will be called geologists. Geology jobs in Kenya. Okay. I'll pick one. This program officer. Okay. Not so many. As it loads, general manager, titanium, blah, 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 geology. OK, this is a graduate training geology. But anyway, you will still get the point. This person, what will they be doing? OK, being a trainee, it might not be. Uh, let's try and see. OK, a part of ongoing commitment in the next 12 months, you'll have access to mining candidates, the one people with these qualifications, blah, blah. Complete the, uh, did, 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 did. okay, this might not be the, okay, okay, geologist, geologist, it seems to be a unique kind of job, yeah, that's why you, geologist, job, geologist job description, 
So geologist, petroleum geologist job description. Okay, this is a PDF. Okay, a deep one here. Um, so job description, a geologist studies the composition of blah, 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 blah. The variety, education needed variety. Oh, I don't know why it's okay. We'll get one. I understand why so many uh, people with the geology were saying, yes, tell us, tell us. Here, the responsibility. You will be needed to study the relationship between an organizational project and its environment impact in the sustainability, develop new methods for geologist analysis and data collection, analyze geological, geothermal, blah, 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 data collection by testing and survey. So why should we hire? You can say, I am very uh, good when it comes to managing uh, projects in uh, the geology and being able to do an analysis to see how the project has um, its impact on the environment and how sustainable the project is. I also think you should uh, be able to hire me because I'm very great when it comes to uh, geological and chemical data collection and I'm able to do a test and survey and also come up, uh, do the co data collection and at least be able to give the environmental impact of that project. Got it? Basically, what I'm doing, I'm just looking at the job description and understanding what is it that I'll be doing. And if that is something that I can seriously do that work, I just am regurgitating back to them. They want someone to measure uh, seismic, volcano, electromagnetic and gravitational activities. I am very good in doing those measurements. I've worked with these machines. I've worked with these softwares. I know how to do analysis and come up with all blah, blah, blah things. But, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this has been a great uh, ride. I want to thank you for sticking in, in here with me. I can see we have been 56 minutes on. Um, so as we do, this is the last round. I like doing this in every of my session. I want you to take time and drop in the chat. What is the one thing that you have learned today? I always like to check and see. At least you did not waste your time. I did not waste my time coming here live. So I want you to drop in the chat. What have you found useful from this live session today? I will read them out and then we can call it a day. Pascal all the way in uh, Nigeria. I appreciate that. What is the salary expectation? I've already covered that, but not to worry. You can replay this video or go to my YouTube channel, search Daniel Mutuku get to this point where I'm talking about uh, questions, interview question, watch this part about salary expectations. Is that okay? Not to worry. So what have you learned this? I think I've already shared my email, Daniel Butuku, that thank you very much. Somebody watching in uh, India that is sent, I really appreciate that. I'll be watching in ba Bangladesh. But they also let me know where you're joining us from, yeah? Tell me what you have found useful in this live broadcast. And also, if you can mention where you're joining us, Kenya, India, Bangladesh, I would really appreciate it. Brian, thank you. Naomi Kamau. Okay, actually, I'll connect with you on LinkedIn, probably after this, but drop me an email with your CV. Kindly share your email address. I think I did. I'll still come bring it back. Why do you think you are the best for this one? Again, it's an opportunity for you to sell yourself. It's like, why should we hire you? You are regurgitating the same thing. I once went for an interview as a waiter and found myself carrying bags of cement. And I later realized that uh, the, that was the interview. Should one do what his or her boss tell her during the interviews? Yes, you should try as much as possible. Be respectful. Follow the instructions. But of course, if it's something that is not ethical, it is something that is not, um, yeah, ethics, I think, don't do it. But if it is anything that is doable, within it's reasonable why not do it watching in zambia that is nasilele great to have you western province okay good watching all the way in malawi that is victor i really appreciate this is great i really like the fact that um, this online thing has broken down all these borders i am coming straight from nairobi kenya and i'm touching people's life in zambia like simon good to have you uh, okay, Naomi saying thanks. What have you learned today? But they have answered your question. So Naomi, you owe me a comment. What is the one thing that you have taken as your takeaway from today's session? Um, do you how do you answer salary progression question? I think I've already tackled that, Leshan, but still 
my YouTube channel here it is with a lot of value. This is the video that you need to go and watch. Search Daniel Mutuku, subscribe to my channel. Yeah, we need to get to 100,000 subscribers and it's only possible with your help. What's the most crucial part in online application? Most don't call for interviews. Um, I'll do another like to, next week, Tuesday. It will be about how to do your application. Yeah, I've done a live Q and A session about writing a CV. I'll do a, about doing your application. But the thing is, following instruction on how you do the application. I will still direct you go check my the YouTube. There is this video on how to do your application on email. This one will really help you, and also how you write your professional CV. I think. All these videos here will be of much value. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Now, where was I? Thank you. Thank you. Someone saying five more minutes. Uh, salary progression question. Is it, you're not negotiating. It's not the first time. So you want to see how can you be able to get, yeah, to negotiate a higher salary. Three tips to it, yeah. And by the way, Leshan Waidera, I would appreciate if you can come, there's a live session that I have, this one here, coming this Thursday on how you can be able to work with NGOs and international organizations and actually get a six-figure salary. So there's a bit of salary uh, progression. I would invite you to that, but I'll give you some quick tips. Number one, you should know the figure that you want before you go to that negotiation based on your value and your worth. Make the company or the person that you're negotiating with realize the value that you're bringing in don't assume that they already know and then you should have comparables to justify your higher salaries do you know how much someone like you in your field in your ex with your experience need to be paid i will give you the tools that you need so show up on that live um i know i've brushed it very quickly but um it's a it's, it's a whole section i've talked about so join me thursday live it will be at 4 uh, 7 30. Uh, how about sending a thank you letter after your interview and highlight your areas you feel th uh, that were not clear? Okay, I would say yes, you can say a thank you note, but don't highlight things who are not clear because it shows you are not sure what even you are doing interviews for. So that would be a, a good thing, yeah? Somebody talking about hand wash. I'm not so sure what they mean. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, this has been a great... Uh, last one, are you sure? How do you, uh, do you know? Okay. And I'm sure what uh, someone from Maya, Daniel, keep it up, bro. That is a uh, Robeli, Robiel. Okay, this has been great. Uh, was my question answered? I think I've just answered you, though not fully. Get in touch with me or dro just drop me an email. I can give you a call. Yeah. Hey, okay, okay. Eritrea, um, Sudan. Okay, this is great, ladies and gentlemen. I can see Brian saying he has learned a, a lot. Uh, he knows how to bring a time land. This has been great. Brian, you have learned how to answer the weakness question. There's um, Saido from Omar, uh, Saido Omar from Kenya. Ladies and gentlemen, it has been a great ride. I really appreciate you joining me. Until next time, I'm out.